I've been asked a question about preparing CMYK files for press printing in InDesign and particularly in relation to the photos that go in those that file. And this is something that I get asked from time to time, so I thought I might expand on it a bit. Usually the question is, do I need to convert my photos to CMYK before I put them in the InDesign file? Also, do I need to crop and resize them, and do I need to sharpen them before they go in the InDesign file? Now, the answer to all those questions is generally no, and I'd like to uh, show you a bit about that now. If you're doing preparing files for CMYK printing, particularly if you haven't done this a lot before, my best advice is to make sure you ask the printer for all their file requirements. CMYK profile, um, stuff about fonts, stuff about colours, they should have a good information pack for you. So the first thing you'll find out is the CMYK profile that they print to. And so when you create your blank InDesign file, as I've done here, then the first thing you would do is uh, set up to that CMYK. Um, and you go to the Edit menu and down to Assign Profile. And let's say, for argument's sake, that I'm doing this job and the printer have told me they use the Fogra 39 standard, so I just find it there and go OK. And then I would go ahead and build my InDesign file using CMYK colors and I've uh, sort of started to prepare a simple one here. Um, these For these colors here I've used a, some Pantone colors. Um, for the text I've used just plain black made of black ink and no other colors. The printer will probably specify that and same with my black border here just black ink, no cyan, magenta or yellow. Right, so now let's talk about the images. Over here in Photoshop I've got a couple of photos that I'm going to use. So, there's no need to convert them to CMYK. If you did that, you'd have to save it as a separate file on your hard drive. If you've followed me for any length of time, you know I'm all about keeping your hard drive clutter free. So I've got these, these are my PSD master files, uh, you see they've each got uh, some layers in them, and importantly they're RGB files, not converted to CMYK. All I need to do is to check to soft proof them in CMYK to make sure that they will be okay uh, when they are converted in InDesign. Um, so to do that I go to Proof Setup, uh, Custom, I've already got that set up there to Fogra 39 and then I just use my Control y it'll be Command Y on a Mac and I'm just looking to see if any colors shift as I turn that soft proofing on and off and that file seems okay there's a tiny bit of shift but it's really nothing to worry about I'll do the same check with this photo and in this one I can see that there is a bit of shift I wonder if you can see that in the video um, <clears throat> so in that case I would use a hue saturation layer um, go to magentas probably this takes a little bit of experimentation <coughs> excuse me and that's still shifting a bit I might try reds just desaturating those colors a little bit so that when I toggle the soft proofing on and off it doesn't shift too much I know that what I'm seeing on screen should be what prints um, so that's a hue saturation layer and I would just name that you know Fogra 39 layer perhaps um, <coughs> so that it would remind me to turn that layer off when I came to say print this photo at my print lab or post it to the web or whatever uh, so I'm just going to save that remember this is my layered PSD master file still in RGB haven't converted it to CMYK and I'll close that so I'll go back to InDesign and um, I'll put the first photo in here um, and maybe just, uh, I don't know, I'm just quickly doing this, position that. Uh, second photo in here, um, center that, that'll be okay. So I've got these couple of photos, still RGB remember, and I would just uh, save that file. Uh, whatever, you know, type my text, do my proofreading. It's all ready to go. 
So then it comes time to make the PDF, and it's in the act of making the PDF that these photos will get converted to CMYK. Uh, so I'll go File, Export. Uh, now again, your lab will probably tell you the exact PDF specs. I'll just choose Press Quality here. Uh, Flowers PDF is fine. Um, come down to Output, and you can see Color Conversion. Convert to Destination, which is Fogger 39. I will would like to include the Fogger 39 profile in the file. It's safer, I think. Um, it marks and bleeds all this stuff. The the printer will tell you about in their information kit. Okay, so I go export, and out goes that PDF. Then I go to Acrobat, not Reader. It has to be the full version of Acrobat. I'm doing all this stuff in Creative Suite 5. Um, it should all work in every version of Creative Suite. Open that file, and there it is. Okay, now here's the kicker. In the act of putting the files, the photos, into the design in InDesign, I made them the right size and cropped them. That's something I don't have to, didn't have to do in Photoshop. In the act of saving the PDF, they got converted to CMYK. Something else I didn't have to do in Photoshop. The one thing that remains is sharpening. Sharpening has to be done in or from the PDF. So I go up to Advanced, sorry, to Tools, Advanced Editing and Show Advanced Editing Toolbar. That gives me these extra tools up here in the last one. This might look different in your version, but I'm pretty sure it'll be there in every version, is the uh, Touch Up Object Tool. So I choose that, click on a photo, and then right click and choose edit image. It comes to Photoshop, uh, gives me this little warning saying if I add layers and stuff it'll be flattened, that's okay. I don't need to do that, all I'm here for is the sharpening. Okay, so I bring this in and you'll notice that it's cropped square, exactly like it is in the PDF. And it's also CMYK, that happened in the conversion. The reason I'm here is to do the sharpening. Um, I've zoomed into 100% and now it's time to do the sharpening. So I would go to Filter Sharpen, I use Unsharp Mask, and I would, um, you know, enter the values that I wanted to do for sharpening. Unfortunately, I can't tell you about this here because that's the subject of my print sharpening class, which will blow your mind. Okay, so once I've sharpened, then I simply save and close that and returns here to the PDF as the sharpened version and then I would do the other photo. Right click on that, edit image, yes I get that message. Um, already zoomed into 100%. I would go, um, I guess I can just unsharp mask that again. Um, save that and close it and it's back in the PDF and then of course I would just save the PDF to update that. And that's the PDF that I would send to the lab for print. It's uh, So I, I hope you follow all that. The point is that I never had to save any extra versions of these photos, cropped or sharpened or converted, on my hard drive. Still only one version of each photo on the hard drive, that is the master RGB PSDs. And then I just did everything else here within InDesign and Acrobat. Uh, to give me that perfect finished product ready to print. I hope this helps.